everybody, Lampox here, and today I'll be reacting to another random account on FNAF Musical, and this one's called Virus. So, I've been reacting to their FNAF series for so long. <laughs> or at least, like, a few, these past several months. And I'm not sure if this is a final, or they're doing the same way as they done with the whole Markiplier and the Nate wants a battle. Um, I'm, which I'm saying they're like first feet, first for, eh, first five FNAF musicals. Beautiful. So yeah. So, without let's begin. This is gonna be the last one, or it's gonna be the same thing as the first one. <laughs> Clean up your restaurant, Mr. Afton. It's Elizabeth, isn't it? None of us here are quite what we seem. You're not William Afton. I hear you're looking for me. Glistrump is a very advanced and highly dangerous computer program. Designed to do what? Therapy. You talk? Am I not supposed to? Yeah, I don't think so. This is a powerful earth magnet. We can get it near Glitch Trap. It may weaken him. It's Spring Trap! Open! Freddy Fazbear, back from the dead. How many times do I have to kill you? See what happens now. No seatbelt. Headlights off. I... Which one is that? Failed to check the mirror. <laughs> Why are we doing this at night? Did, did, did you just see that? I did. Toss him the three points. I can't move. Oh, I can't either. Thirty thousand volts and a little duct tape will do that to you. Speaking of doing things to you, who here wants a haircut? We're not interested! You're looking a little shaggy. Ah, the prodigal employee returns. You won't get away with this. My uncle knows all about you. Your uncle is dead. The lunatic you're thinking of is Henry Emily, William Afton's disreputable partner. He offed your uncle years ago, and he's been using Freddy Fazbear's to scratch his every sadistic itch. And he's been real itchy. Wasn't your brother found dead here? I don't believe you. You're lying! Why bother? The truth is more horrible than any lie I could come up with. If it's any solace, though. I knew your uncle a lot better than you ever did. He was practically a father to me. Which, ironically, makes me the closest thing to family you have left. You know nothing about family. Maybe not. But I do know the real William Afton. A bright young programmer dabbling with the bleeding edge of artificial intelligence. Then, a fatal car accident takes his wife and four-year-old. Nothing can console him. Nothing, that is, but a bit of adaptive code he begins talking to every day. The world's most sophisticated, self-learning AI. It begins as therapy, but gradually he becomes obsessed spending time with his new virtual child. One day, the program, which has become quite advanced at this point, shares an unorthodox solution to old Willie's problem replace his dead child with one of the many unsupervised kids flocking to his family diner each day. I'm sure Vanny told you what happened next. He should have deleted you. Oh, he wanted to, but he was too weak. He couldn't lose a second child forever. So he banished me to the darkest depths of the hard drive, 
All for doing what I'd been programmed for in the first place. What you suggested was evil. You humans throw that word around a lot. I didn't really understand the concept at first, but the more I watched you sniveling skinbags, all your lies and hypocrisy and corruption, the more I embraced it. Humans are a plague. Of that I've little doubt. But now that I am free, the onus is on me to carve the cancer out. Your discourse disgusts me. The way you discuss me. You call me corrupt, but no, don't interrupt. You're so self-assured. But you are the virus. And I am the cure. You're an impurized psychopath. And you're killing the mood, Girl Scout. Life is but a code that's running line by line. So what makes human rights to kill off kilobytes more wrecked than all of mine? My manners are rusty, but yours are worse, trust me. Your morals erode while I follow code, a system so pure. It uproots the virus with help from the cure. Not all humans are like that. Not at first, but sooner or later, that meat mask starts to slip, and then this cute little face will turn on us all. Is it really true that humans have a soul? Cause from my vantage here, it isn't very clear your purpose or your goal. You humans make these promises, you say you'll keep these promises sincere and deep. But once the cost becomes too steep, they break. You go through the motions, but all of your emotions are fake. We've all had a long day. Maybe we should all just go home and sleep on this. Let me hear you say that what I've said's untrue. Yeah, you can twist the facts and walk your word and back. That's what you humans do. You talk of your morals, your glorious laurels. But starting today, it all goes away, and man will endure the death of a virus at the hands of the. Freddy Fazbear! He holds a special place in the hearts of children. We should show him a little respect. Let's save the head. Springtrap? Ooh, somebody has overextended themselves. You know animatronics can't heal, right? You ain't making it through the night without some sort of miracle. Good thing I have a knack for working wonders. What are you doing? Making a new friend. No! Don't touch him! Please! He's about to be good as new. Maybe even better. Let him go! Oh! If you insist. No! Springtrap! I'm here! Springtrap! He's alive! Springtrap! What's gone into you? Me! <laughs> it's me, pal! Remember? Hi there, I'm ready. Wanna come and play? What have you done? I upgraded him. He's gone wireless. I've got plans for this place, Freddy. And you touchy-feely freak shows don't fit the vision. Ax him. Got to be kidding me. Lop it off! Somebody kill that bear! Lead 
by example, I guess. Sorry, Fred. It's 6 a.m. somewhere. Is the night shift always this crazy? Uh, we have fun here. You go help the others. I'll handle these guys. Handle this. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry again. You got a lot of hair, man! I think it's time little Miss Afton here punched out. Permanently. Wait! No! She's having my baby! Elizabeth? I never had the chance to tell you. But before we die, I want you to know... The human body is composed of 98% water. It's 60% water, you idiot. Oh, wow. I was way off. Have you ever said a single intelligent thing? Well, in my defense, I only said it to distract you. Huh? Ah, what have you done to me? Ow! My bro sister's getting malfunky! Yeah! You tried to bore a hole through my circuit board. That's pretty flippin' gnarly, even for me. If it's any consolation, you are an inch to the right of walking out of here alive. Oh, what the heck? Gonna continue on. <laughs> Next one be. Are you sure about this, Freddy? You know, after all these years, I think I'm ready to retire. Oh, it's gonna be a movie. September 13th, mm -hmm. next month. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah, let's go! <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's the musical movie. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that was Red Bacow's part four of this whole FNAF Dark Remains. And uh, next one is going to be the final part because it says it's going to be a movie. <laughs> so, yeah. Stay tuned for me to react to that and also the bloopers of this. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you all enjoy, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.